Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Your subscription likes are always motivating us. If you have any doubt, please comment in the section or you can able to join us in the Instagram page. So the Instagram page link is in the description of the video. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about fun months of entomology. I am going to cover the insect orders, which are endo terigota, and the, I am going to cover the first order of diptera. So you must need to remember those names. So diptera, di is true, and terra, which is means things. So the which is said to be the fourth largest order in the insect classification, and the common names are true flies, mosquitoes, gannets, and midges. So these are the common names which are said to be present in diptera. So while seeing the characteristics, they are said to be small to medium sized insects and soft body insects. So the body regions are said to be distinct, so you can able to classify them. It has the thoracic region, um, abdomen and the head parts into different one. And the head is said to be half an inner circle and attached to the thorax by a slender neck. And the mouth part are said to be sucking type, but which may be even modified in some of the groups. And the all thoracic segments are said to be fused to one another. The thoracic moth is largely made up of the mesothorax region of these insects. And a small lobe of mesonotum, which is a scutellum shape, is said to be present. So you can able to uh, picture it in this picture. And uh, which you use it to overhangs the base of the abdomen. And after that, they use it to have a single pair of wings. And the four wings are said to be larger and membrane is. <laughs> This one are used for flight and additional lobes of alluna and squam are said to be present. Hind wings are said to be highly reduced and knobbed at the end and are said to be called as helters. So they are said to be rapidly vibrated during their flight and hence this function as the organ of uh, even the equilibrium in their flighting motion and the flies are said to be shift among insects. And a metamorphosis is said to be complete in this group of insects and larva of more common forms are said to be known as the maggots. So the miniature as well as the nymph nimple form of these group of insects are said to be known as the maggots. So you can able to see the picture. So where you can able to see the pots like antenna, aristo, knob, oxalate, even the compound eyes in the diptera group of insects. Uh, it's for an, just an example. And uh, while continuing the characters, uh, we are going to see about the characteristics of maggots. So they are said to be edaphorus as well as acelophus. And the mouth parts are represented by the mouth hooks which are said to be attached to the internal sclerates. And the pupa is said to be generally with free appendages and often enclosed in a hardened lost larva skin as which is said to be called as puparium. And the pupa belongs to a concrete type. And uh, while going to see about in diptera, you know, I have already told you the common names of flies, midges, and mosquitoes are said to be present in these group of insects. So, and hawk fly on adult, which is said to be on floss, and egg near aphids, and uh, larva eats, used to eat the aphids in the particular group of insects. And while seeing the classification, the diptera group is said to be divided into three suborders. First, we are going to see about the Nematothersura, which is a thread horn group of insects are said to be present. And uh, the antenna is said to be long and many segmented in adults. And the larva head is said to be well developed. Eusophilus heads are said to be present and larval mandibles act horizontally in this group of insects. And the pupa is weakly abduct and adult emergence is through a straight split in the thoracic region of this group of insects. And uh, the second one, which is Brassicera short horn. Uh, which the uh, before one is said to be long horn and the, now it is said to be short horn and the antenna is said to be short and few segmented in adults. So they used to have a stylate type of antenna in adult and uh, the larva head is said to be retractile into the thoracic. So they are said to be known as the hemicephalus and larva mandibles act vertically and the pupa is said to be known as the exerit pupa and the adult emergence is through a straight split in the thoracic region of that particular one pupa. And after that, the third one, which is said to be known as the cyclorapha, where they use it to have a circular crack, and the antenna is said to be aristate in adults. And the larva is a head is said to be vestigial with mouth hook, which is said to be known as the acephalus. And larval mouth hook are used to act vertically in these group of insects. And the pupa is cockroach, and the cockroach pupa has a, a circular line of weakness along which the pupil case used to split during the emergence of adult 
and the split results due to the pressure of applied by a reversible blade bitterum in the head of this particular group of insects. So I have given the difference of characters between these these three groups of suborders in the order Diptera. So you can able to remember. So it was what I used to told you in the above one. So you can able to easily go through for your such studies. I have given the lecture notes which is in the description and uh, the suborders used to combine different families while seeing the first number sera they used to contain the five families which is Cuculidae, uh, Cecidomidae, Typhoidae, Psychococcidae and Bionidae and uh, Bresera where the Acididae, Tabanidae, Bombylidae and uh, Cyclorapha where they use, which is said to be a larger one and use it to contains around 10 families which is use it to comprise of the families of Cyclidae, Tephritidae, um, Drosophilidae, Tachnidae, Mucidae, Hippobosidae and uh, Califoridae, Micropisidae, Agromycidae and Chloropidae. So these are the 10 families which are said to be known present in the Cyclohapa and uh, while seeing we are going to first see about the suborder of Nematocera and uh, in first question, Culicidae family, which is to be a mosquitoes, and the female used to have a piercing and sucking type of mouth pods, with the use, which used to contain uh, six stylets, and the antenna is to be a plumos, which is a bushy one in male, and the pilos, which is used to have a lessy hair in female one, and the legs are slender, delicate, and used to be long, and the wings are said to be fringed with hairs, and the scales on the hind margin on some veins and males are short lived and fit fed on the nectar or decaying fruits and the female live long and are said to be known as the blood feeders and also said to be known as the household pest mm. and after that the larva are said to be called as ringless and the larva head is said to be large with chewing path and a mouth brush hidden in full their feeding and thoracic is said to be large without legs and the respiratory siphon is located in the penultimate end of the abdomen in the mosquitoes and the pupa is said to be known as the tumbler pupa it is said to be very active even it is in the pupal stage it has a prothoracic horns which houses the anterior uh, part of the spiracle a pair of anal pedals is said to be present at the terminal end which used to be aids in the swimming of the pupil in the water and the malarial larva anaphylis which used to transmit malaria and the filaris mosquito which used to be comes under Culex species, it used to tam transmit filarious diseases. And uh, I have given the pictures of mosquito of Culicidae family. You can able to see the larva pupa as well as the adult ones. And after that, we are going to see about uh, Cecidomidae, which used to comprise of gall midges. They are said to be minor, delicate, and uh, also as like as mos mosquito like flies with uh, similar characteristics. But they used to have a difference, um, like they used to have a moniform antenna where the legs are said to be long as in my specifics and mouth parts are said to be vestigial and wing venation is said to be reduced and wings are covered with long hairs. A dark clearized area is said to be present midventrally on the prothoras in the larva which is said to be known as the chest bone and the ring gall midge um, which is said to be yeah, varizala varizae where the lot of feet produces galls in the rice. So the pictures of the gall midge where you can able to see the adult as well as the chest bone of the pupil in this picture of pupa. And after that we are going to see about the tubulidae uh, which are used to comprise of crane fly or else you can able to call it as the daddy long legs. So they used to have this name due, due to the presence of longer legs and the flies are said to be used to have elongated legs I have already told you and the wings and the long hattle and used to have a larger abdomen and they used to have a large compound eyes and the oxalate are said to be absent in this group of insects and the apical segment of maxillary papillae is said to be flagelly form 
they used to have a distinct V-shaped suture on the thoracic bone, and the larva or the pest of roots of the different cops. And after that, we are going to see about the psychocoidae, which used to comprise of moth fly, drain fly, and sand flies, and where the adult used it to resemble say, a tiny moth of the smaller one. And the wings are said to be hairy one, and the antlers are long and contain 12 to 16 segments, and each segment. Bulbous. They are said to be known as the mostly form antenna, and the ring of hairs which used to comprise of plumes, and the adults are victims of many human diseases in the environment. And after that, we are going to see about the bibiondi, which is the March flies. So the legs are said to be thick, and the eye meets mid dorsally, where they are said to be holoptic in male, and the antenna are said to be mostly form, which is eight to sixteen segmented, and the front tibia bear large strong spur or the circlet of spines. And the adults are said to be pollinators, and the larvae are pest in pasture lands. And after that, we are going to see about the brachycera, so acelid, which are said to be known as the robber flies, and the, where the head is for broad and hollow out in between the compound eyes, where the compound eyes are said to be the broad turban, and the a prominent tuft of hairs is said to be found on the head, forming a mouth beard in these insects. And the proboscis is said to be thick and stout, and the legs are stout and suited for catching their prey. And the abdomen is used for tapering, and they are said to be most active and uh, non-selective predators. And after that, we are going to see about the tapering, which is used to compress the horseflies, and which is said where the body is stout, and the head is large, and the eyes are said to be large and often brilliantly colored. In males, they are said to be holoptic, and in females, they are said to be Diacoptic. The third antenna segment is annulated and used to form a styrate type of antenna in this group of insects. And the proboscis is said to be strong and pointed downwards in these insects. And the male feed on nectar. Female sucks blood from cattle and horses. They spread anthrax disease in the cattle. Uh, and bombylidae, which is used to comprise of bee flies. Mm. Adults generally feed on the nectar and pollen, and some being important pollinators. And often with uh, the spectacularly long proboscis, and the mouth parts are modified for sucking and adapted for feeding on flowers. And uh, bee flies are said to be hairy, and most of them are the mimic wasp or bees. Antenna with a third segment larger, and the others uh, where the styrate is said to be absent in these group of insects. And after that, we are going to see about the cyclorapha. So, which used to have a seraphidae fam subfamily. Where the hoverflies and flowerflies are said to be present, they are said to be a brightly coloured one and a brilliantly striped. A vein, you know, like thick and superior vein, is said to be present in between the radius and the median in the forefinger. And the abdomen used to have a distinct black and yellow markings, and a maggot used to prey on soft body insects, especially aphids. And where the adults are said to be known as the excellent flies and they aid in pollination of these insects. So you can be able to see this picture and identify those points for your examination. And after that, the Ephyridae, where the fruit fly, they are said to be known as the fruit flies, and the subcost are being apical and fades out in the adult one. So on wings are said to be spotted or banded, and the female has a short and projecting oposter in these insects. And the maggots can hop, and they are said to be highly destructive to fruits and vegetables, and the cucurbit uh, fruit fly. So the scientific name is Bactrosura cucurbitis. It is said to be an example for you. I have given the picture of that cucurbit fruit fly, so you can able to see the wing patterns where they used to have a cup extended in the wing, and also a apex beak on the bow. Wing variations. So after that we are going to see about the Drosophila, which is said to be a vinegar gnat, or else you can able to know it as pomes flies, where the eyes are said to be usually red and they are said to be attracted attracted to rotting vegetables and fruits. So the larva feeds on yeast and the products of fermentation, and the life cycle is said to be very short, where they used to have a life cycle of only seven days, and the pomes fly, which is said to be known as the Drosophila. Melanogaster is the scientific name, and they are said to be extensively used in the study of animal genetics. One of the important point we must need to remember. And after that, we are going to see about the tachinid, which is used to comprise of tachinid files. And uh, Aristae is said to be completely bare in these insects, 
and the abdomen is stout with several noticeable bristles and they are not specific endosparasites on the larva and pupa of orthoptera, hemiptera, lepidoptera and coleoptera so these are the picture of the fly and after that we are going to see about the musidae which is a house fly antenna aristae is plumose which is tippy aristate group of antenna and mouth part of the tippy is a sponging one labium is distinctly modified into a pair of oval shaped fleshy loops which is said to be called as labula pre-tarsus consists of two claws and two adhesive pads in these insects and the first abdominal segment is yellow in color and the terminal abdominal segment or telescopic forming a pseudo oviposter in these insects and the abdomen is not brittle on the basal part of the insects maggots are said to be a scavenger and adult carry certain disease causing microbes on it yeah. so for example which is say, musca domestica of particular housefly uh, and after that we are going to see about the Hippobosire, which is said to be a dog fly. So the body is flat and leathery one, and the head is sunkered in the thorax. And the legs are said to be short, strong, but useful for clicking onto the host with their claw like structures in the point of the leg. And they are said to be the view parents, they give birth to mature larvae, so which are said to be glued to the hairs of the host. The young larvae is used to retain in the special uterine pouch and nourished by a special nutritive gland so larva once laid never feeds until it pupates immediately in the host they are said to be the blood sucking ectoparasites on cattle as well as dogs so the scientific name is hippobasca maculata so it is said to be associated with the cattle so the hutch cap Capensis, it is said to be a parasite of dogs, which is said to be a hippobosca capensis, is a parasite on dogs. So it is the picture of that fly. And after that we are going to see about the agromycidae, which is a leaf minor fly. So the adult agromites can be recognized by the distinct sclerization of the head. They use it to have an upper part of fronds in their body, which is said to be lightly sclerized and lack CT. So they used to be known as the frontal vita and the frontal vita often forms a distinctive patch on the head. Uh, so they used to have a different in color and texture from the rest of the head. You can able to use it in this picture. And the wings are said to be usually high with darker markings. And a, a few species including agromyza species are capable of stridulation, posing a file on the first of abdominal segment. So they can be scrapper on the hind femur of these group of insects and the larvae used to mine into the leaves and uh, used to have a drying of those leaves so but the economic loss is to be very much lower when compared to other diseases and uh, calipore day which is said to be a uh, blow flies so the adults are common shiny with the metallic coloring and often with blue and green color in nature so the iris is said to be used to have a plumos antenna and the entire length of the second antenna is said to be distinctly crude in this group of insects and uh, having a notopleural bistils used to give a slighted color in their wing, wing portions and the adult pollinates and larvae are said to be scavengers in the environment so after that we are going to see about the microphacidae which is a uh, stiff legged flies so very slender insects with long thin legs and narrowings are said to be found so the antenna is said to be small and the aristae is said to be bad and the abdomen is long and narrow and adults are either predatory or uh, small insects so uh, this is the picture of the insects and the uh, chloropedia so the fruit flies which is also called as the grass flies so they are said to be a very small flies either black grey yellow or greenish so based on the environment and the mesonotum which is said to be a, have a Often the pattern of three to five dark longitudinal stripe on the back against a light colored background. So the it is said to be triangular one and uh, appearing shiny due to the presence of virtual absence of any hair in the head. The majority of the larvae are said to be the phytophagus, the plants are feeding one, which is but they use it to mainly feed on the grasses and uh, it is also said to be known as the major pest of cereal groups. And adults of some species are said to be known as the eye nuts or eye flies for their habit of being attracted to the eyes. 
so they feed on the lacrimal secretion and other body fluids of various animals including humans so and also they used to have a medical significance in this field so i have given the lecture notes in the description if you have any doubt please comment in the section or else you will be able to join us in the instagram page and ask your doubts so if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i'll catch up in next videos